Hey guys, um, so we've got two lessons here that we need to do before we start getting ready for our semester final. And they are on um, the relationship between fractions, decimals, and percents. So in this first video, we're going to talk about some uh, fraction, decimal, percent equivalents that we need to memorize. They're common and we need to have them memorized. And in our second video, which won't be today, it'll be another day, um, we are going to learn how to do those conversions. Um, so for our table of contents that we'll need to fill in here before um, the break, uh, this first lesson is going to be on, um, let's just call it memorize these fraction, decimal, percent equivalents. And then go ahead and uh, that'll have to be whatever page number you need here. And then for our next lesson, uh, before the break, we're going to need to convert between fraction, decimals, and percents. And then again, whatever page number you need there. Alrighty, so we've got our table of contents updated. And this is sort of like the unit that we did on properties. This is kind of a little unit that we're doing before we get into fractions, which will be um, our fourth unit this year. So um, this doesn't have a unit over here. All right, um, in class, then you should have gotten a paper that looks similar to this one. And um, so just uh, uh, by way of intro, um, fractions, decimals, and percents are all different ways to express the same thing, which are parts out of a whole. And um, they're just different names. It's kind of like if you have a first name, a middle name, and a last name, but I could call you any one of those names and it would identify um, the person I'm speaking to is you. That's the same thing with fractions, decimals, and percents. Um, another way to think of it is um, you're somebody's child, you're somebody's friend, and you're somebody's grandchild, but you're still the same person. And um, that's the same thing with fractions, decimals, and percents. Just a different way to express uh, parts out of a whole. So if we have a, like a whole pie, we can talk about half of the pie, we can talk about 0.5 of the pie, or we can talk about 50% of the pie, and that's all the same. All right, so I get, kind of gave you the first one. Here we're going to fill in these charts. So one half would be the same as the decimal 0.5 or 5 tenths, and that would also be the same then as 50%. If we were talking about a whole in a fraction, that would be 2 out of 2 if we're talking about halves. And 2 out of 2 is equal to 1, and that's equal to 100%. Now on the thirds, the common ones that are handy to know would be this 0.3 repeating is the same as 1 third, and I kind of find this one fairly easy to remember because one-third is 0.3 repeating. Not all fractions work out that way, but the, the, this one-third does. And then if we change that to a percent, that's 33 and 0.3 um, percent, or a lot of times you'll see it written as 33 and a third percent is another way to see that written. You might notice that the decimals and the percents have the same numbers in them. The decimal point's just in a different place. Because remember, for percents, we're talking about how much out of 100. And then over here, we're talking about how much out of 1. OK, so again, parts out of a whole. All right, and then 2 thirds. Since 2 thirds is double 1 third, you might expect that this is going to be 0.66 repeating or 0.6 repeating and that's 66.6 .6 repeating percent and again that oftentimes will be written as 66 and two-thirds percent. 
So again, if we're talking about thirds, the whole would be a three out of three. That's a whole. If I had a, a candy bar and I cut it into three parts, three out of three would be the whole thing. And three out of three is one whole candy bar. And then 100% is all of it. All right, so the fourths, the fourths you may know because um, those are fairly common. And so one fourth, just like one fourth of a dollar, is a quarter. So one fourth is 0 0.25. And again, that's 25%. Notice that we just move that decimal point over two places to get from our decimal to our percent. Once we have the decimal, the percent is very, very easy. All right, 0.5 you know that that's one half, but the fraction for one half that goes with four, so would be two out of four. If I have um, my candy bar cut into four parts and I have two of them, I've got 50%, right? Or half of it. Okay. And then 75%, again, thinking about one dollar, if we're dividing it into four parts, three of those four parts would be 75 cents. So three-fourths and 0 0.75. Again, just a, just a reminder, these are ones that we want to have memorized. So four, th four out of four, of course, is one whole, which is 100%. All right, now the fifths. And the fifths you might be kind of familiar with as well. So one-fifth, again, if you think of one-fifth of a dollar, that's going to be 0 0.2 or 20 cents, 20%. 20 Two fifths of a dollar, double that, right? So 0 0.4 or 40%. Three fifths, 0 0.6 or 60%. Four fifths, 0 0.8 or 80%. You can see we're going up, just going up by two each time, aren't we? And so 5 fifths would equal 1, which is our 100%. Okay. All right, now the ones that maybe are a little bit trickier, not quite as uh, common to us, are the eighths. So 1 eighth is 0 0.125 or 12.5%. Again, you really, if you just remember the 125, the decimal is 0.125, and the percent would just be moving that decimal point over two places. Okay, So 2 eighths, that's like 1 fourth, right? If we reduce 2 eighths, it'd be 1 fourth, so then we know that's got to be 0.025 or 25%. All right, and then our next one would be 3 eighths, and 3 eighths is 0 0.3. Seven five, so if you, and then thirty seven point five percent. Four eighths is the same as one half. If we reduce this, four out of eight is one half. So we know that's going to be our zero point five or fifty percent. Seven eighths, be kind of a new one to us maybe. Oh, I jumped there, didn't I? I'm sorry. That's five eighths. My apologies. Five eighths would be 0 0.625 and 62.5%. Six eighths, kind of jumped ahead a couple, didn't I there? This one is, is just like three fourths, so this is 0 0.075 and 75%. Now, finally, seven eighths, and that's our 0 0.875 and 87.5%. Then, of course, 8 eighths is one whole or 100%. All right, now our tenths. Tenths should be fairly easy for us um, because, again, we can think money with this. So, one tenth looks like 0 0.01, or like we would write 10 cents if we had another zero there, right? And that's 10%. One tenth, 10%, right? Two tenths, 0. 2 and 20%. 3 tenths, 0 0.3 and 30%. So these are, are fairly easy, right? Because the numerator tells us what the decimal and the uh, percent have to be. So 4 tenths, 0 0.4, 4 
40 percent. Five tenths, 0 0.5, 50 percent. Now you can see on some of these um, we've added an extra zero. Remember that zero doesn't change the place value at all. It just helps us re realize that this should be not 6%, but 60%. Just a little reminder there for you. So 60% goes with 6 out of 10. 60%. 7 tenths. Should be kind of getting this by now. Should be 0 0.7, just 70%. 8 tenths. 0 0.8, which is 80%, 9 tenths, 0 0.9, which is 90%, and then of course 10 tenths is one whole or 100%. So just a couple of things to notice about the um, tenths here. The numerator is the decimal part, and then all we do is we add a zero to that numerator to get our um, percent part there, okay? And of course, move the decimal point over two places. So you really, really already know how to change from a decimal to a percent, which is going to be our next lesson. And that's just to move the decimal point two places to the right. And that's really as easy as it is. So again, we want to focus on trying to memorize these. We'll practice that a little bit in class, but that's the goal, is to have these memorized. All right, guys, I'll see you next time in class. Um, have a great evening, and I will uh, see you tomorrow.